Hello everybody, good day, greetings from Singapore, welcome to our weekly live stream on Tabi Eats. Um, if you're new to our channel and you're new to our live stream, welcome to our Tabi Eats family. I usually, we usually do a live stream from Tokyo, Japan, but because I am in Singapore at the moment filming for you guys, I thought uh, this week I should be doing the live stream solo. So, uh, what's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day or a great evening. I, I have no idea what time it is for you guys right now. I'm sorry for the last minute setup um, because, uh, well, I, I, I kind of got up late today. Well, not really late, 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 but I, I, I was so lazy this morning. I've been so exhausted from all the filming and it looks like a really hot day today. So I didn't really want to um, go out, but I, I did have to go to get some drinks from our local 7-Eleven. I also remember that they have some interesting onigiri. So I got a couple of them. And I also want to share some of the um, the snacks that I got from fans from the meetup. Uh, thank you so much to those of you who came to the meetup. Um, it was amazing, guys. It was amazing. If, if you want to see pictures of the meetup, make sure you follow my Instagram account. It's S-M-I-N-E-27. Uh, I posted... Uh, uh, some new pictures today as well as yesterday and tomorrow I'm going to post more pictures from the meetup and um, Yeah, um, I decided to share, share some of the snacks uh, for two reasons uh, Number one, I have too many things to bring back home. I am so sorry. I cannot take all of it back home with me um, I promise I'll, I'll take uh, the majority of the things that you gave me um, I will take it back home to share it with Satoshi, but I uh, um a lot of not a lot but i think like i i got like um duplicates of certain things such as the potato chips i think um um three of you gave me the same uh, potato chips so i'm gonna try out those as well and i'm also i'm also gonna try out um this from dark paracord and um this is like a herbal jelly called wheeling gao so i'll be trying that later and uh, yeah, I'll be showing you uh, a couple of things as well. Anyway, um, I am staying at the XY Hotel in the Bugis area and uh, my friend is the owner, uh, Patrick. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Patrick, for uh, hosting me at this hotel and uh, for hosting the event, the last minute event. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the, the meetup, guys. I was not planning to do a proper meetup. I thought, you know, maybe I get together with like a few people and um yeah you know just have dinner or something but um i started getting uh uh messages from people saying hey you know when are you gonna do the meetup in singapore we've been waiting and and so i thought you know what i i should do a meetup you know and so uh I, I thought okay where should i do it and my friend patrick said why don't you do it at the hotel and i'm like really can, can i do it yeah he goes yeah you can use the lobby you can use the second floor you can use it like your home so uh um i i took him up on the offer but um i i'm so grateful uh to my friend patrick because uh not only did he allow me to use the facilities but um he set up a whole buffet table of food and drinks including alcohol for all the guests and and i insisted on paying but he insisted no that he's gonna pay and so i was uh very very grateful for so thank you thank you to my friend and brother patrick he's not my real brother but um you know he's kind of like my brother so thank you patrick from the bottom of part thank you and thank you to your brother as well who's the co-owner of this hotel thank you and the staff at Excel hotel you guys are amazing and um the meetup went well you know originally i thought it was going to be like nine ten people uh ended up being uh 30 people so um it was a pretty big crowd and um yeah, as always, I was a bit nervous before the actual meetup, but in the end, I had a great time, and uh, I I I always uh, tell you know tell myself you know I have nothing to worry about because everyone's a lot of fun, everyone's really nice, and I really had nothing to worry about. So I had a great time. It was a great meetup. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so shall we get started? Oh, as always, thank you so much to our moderators. You guys are amazing. Our moderators are Aaron Uber, Mindy's mom, uh, Kuroneko, and Nasha Brad. You guys, 
are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see who's here. Um, I have no idea who's here. Hi, A1. What's up, Byron? I'm going to give you guys a real quick shout, shout out. Samuel, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Tim Hurst, Kuro. Nicole, Ryan Tam, Marks and Kitchen Fantasy, Asian Dreamer. What's up, Kempe45? What's up, uh, Aaron RTQ, Artigraph? Hi, nine five six. I see some people that were at the meetup. Uh, Drew's food reviews, Relesque, uh, uh, Quiz Queen, Susan C, uh, Mouseberry, Pana, Pana. All right, all right. So, shall we get started? Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a drink. Hi, Florence Little. Florence, you were at the meetup too. Florence, thank you so much for dropping by again the next day to drop off those uh, chips. I really appreciate it. And I will give the chocolate to uh, Jean. I haven't seen her today yet because she's with her mother today. But I will be seeing her later on. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, Singapore is very, very hot. And you will become dehydrated if you don't drink. Uh, something and water a lot of times for me it doesn't help it reminds me of the the summers in um, Japan in Tokyo you know and in Tokyo they say don't drink water drink something like Pokari sweat you know something that has minerals or something with sugar and a little bit of salt because um, you need to replenish your minerals and all your electrolytes and all that stuff so this is from 7-eleven and I think this is a a uh, local brand called All's Well, and I, I've been really, really digging this one. Uh, this is a uh, the English right here, water, at, oh, sorry, water, chestnut, and sugar cane, and it has a cooling effect. Yes, by the way, the, you can get a uh, fresh sugar cane juice at uh, most of the hawker stands, and they are very delicious. They're really good, and they're very hydrating as well. They give me instant energy. They don't taste like pure sugar. They actually taste kind of like a plant for me, a little bit planty, like a, like a, almost like a vegetable uh, aroma, but of course, sweet. Bad, bad description. I've been doing really bad with the descriptions um, here um, during filming because um, everything's so unfamiliar. I can't pronounce the names of the dishes, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay because um, everything is delicious. All right, so let me open this up. I wonder if Satoshi's here. Is Satoshi here? Oh, it's, um, mm, it's pretty... Uh, oh, I can't open this. Why? Did I become weaker or what's up? What what's up with this? Oh yeah, I cannot. <laughs> it doesn't open. What? One moment. Mm. Wow. Seriously, I don't know if I I'll be able to open this. Oh, I can't open it. I cannot. None at all. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to be uh, able to drink this. Okay, here we go. Oh, by the way, since uh, um, Artsy Crafty is here, Artsy Crafty, um, she also came to the meetup. It was so nice to see you. And guess what? She made these for us. First of all, let me show you this. I, I'm sure some of you have already seen it. But this is handmade by Beads. And this is a little card holder. And she, and she made two of these because she thought Satoshi was going to be here. And she added in an easy link card, which you can use at all uh, 7-Elevens and uh, you know all the public transportation. It's kind of like Japan's uh, Suica card. Um, but yeah, she made this for us. And she also made this uh, uh, tissue box holder, which is really nice. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry, I have to share this with you guys because it's just so amazing on both sides in different colors. I can't even imagine how long it took her to make this. You know, and because it's Tabi Eats, she says one side is food and the other side is uh, travel, like Tokyo Tower and the Netherlands. So that is like, thank you. Thank you so much. I, 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 I so appreciate it. Like, it's, I will treasure this like forever. It's so nice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Oh, I see people. Oh, it, it's closed. <laughs> I see people below me. I'm on the second floor, so I can people watch from here. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. 
Well, this is kind of tough to open. <laughs> Dark Paracord. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Come by. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, very refreshing. It's not that sweet. It's it's just slightly sweet, and it has a natural sweetness to it. And um, you know, uh, just a slight uh, aroma and flavor of water chestnut. Yeah, if you can imagine, it's really good. Um, by the way, they have been making this drink for uh, thirty years, it says, uh, with the same recipe. And they basically blend uh, water chestnuts with the pure sweetness of red sugar cane. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, it's delicious and very, very natural. Okay. Moving on. Onigiri time. Now, let me start off with the uh, really interesting one. Okay. Now, this cannot be found in Japan. Check it out. This is the chili crab onigiri. Chili crab onigiri. Um, chili, chili crab is an iconic dish in Singapore. I haven't had it yet. Um, but um, at least I can try out the uh, onigiri form. Chili crab onigiri. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now they also have a nasi lemak onigiri, but I haven't found it yet. I, I found it at the Sentosa branch, but I haven't found it um, near me. So um, once I find it, I will get my hands on it and I will make a video or a live stream or something, you know. Okay, job. Let's try it. I also got another one, by the way. This is the grilled salmon onigiri. Um, and, you know, of course we have a uh, salmon onigiri in Japan, but we don't have a grilled salmon one. Not like this, not like a teriyaki style. And so I really wanted to try that too. Yeah. Which one should I try first, by the way? I'll let you guys pick. Which one should I try? Chili crab onigiri or the grilled salmon onigiri? Dori ni shiyou kana? Dori ni suru? Dori ni suru? Mazuberi san, honto ni ne, international nan desu yo. Mechakcha international desu. Honto ni, honto ni ne, omoshiroi. Honto ni omoshiroi. Ano, Singapore wa tottemo omoshiroi machi da ne. Ano, akinai ne. Okay. All right, looks like everyone's saying crab, so let's go for the chili crab. <laughs> All right, so it opens the same way, you know, like the Japanese onigiri, as you can see. And, um, yep, like that. Hey, Shogun, hey, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Tan, thank you so much. I am having a great time here in Singapore. So it looks like your typical onigiri. Right? Yep. Takimasu. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. First of all, wow. Crispy. Nori. It shocked me because I had the taste of seafood immediately come into my mouth. Mm. Oh yeah, it's definitely crab. So it's kind of like um, the sauce of the chili crab. It's a little spicy now. Yeah, yeah. I taste a little spice of chili and crab. Quite interesting, and it's quite spicy. It's quite spicy. It's a little bit spicy, and um, wow! I oh, let's see. Wow, Anna three one one three. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Wow. Oh yeah, there is some real crab meat in there. Some, I I don't know if you guys can see it, but the white pieces are real crab meat. Very interesting. A very unique onigiri, I have to say. Very unique. I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Let's try this one. The grilled salmon onigiri. Mm. So I'm gonna open it up. Mm. Now, there's a little bit of difference, I think, um, 
in the onigiri from Japan and the onigiri here. The onigiri in Japan, the rice is a little bit different. Um, um, the lady asked me if I wanted to warm this up in the microwave in Japan, like you would never do that. So I said, no, 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 it's okay, I'm gonna eat it right away. And then, now I think I kind of understand why she asked me that, because I feel like this might be better microwave, because the rice is kind of hard. It's not um, soft like the Japan one. So I feel like if, if this is warmed up, it would be very similar to the Japanese one, but then the onigiri would be warm, which is, um, you know, we don't usually eat onigiri warm in Japan. But so maybe, so maybe um, next time I'll warm it up and try it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just the texture of the rice is a little bit hard for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. They ah, okay. The Singapore ones they put it in the freezer. That's why. That's why. I get it. I see. Okay. So this one is a salmon, uh, grilled salmon onigiri. So um, let's hang it up. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! Actually, this kind of <laughs> this kind of looks like the regular salmon onigiri in Japan. The picture is quite deceiving because the picture has grilled salmon with like some kind of a teriyaki sauce basted on the top. So that's kind of deceiving, don't you agree? Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, this is nice. Lots of salmon. Lots of salmon in here. Interesting. The taste of the salmon is, is, is similar, but it's not the same as the one in Japan. Um, similar saltiness. But it's different. It's different. It's good. It's good. I actually... Um, I prefer this one over the chili crab just because the chili crab one is uh, so unique. And I think that one would taste better warm. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the salmon is not that bad. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Put that to the side. <clears throat> Mm. 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 And the texture of the rice when the salmon is a little softer. I don't know why. What's up, Daniel, Tim Hurst, Tokyo Drew? Mm. Sorry. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. So. That's a good start. Now, we're gonna try some uh, chips, okay? Uh, now, these chips are from, um, um, actually, from Dark Paracord. Dark Paracord, um, I checked out your box of goodies. Thank you so much for preparing this um, epic box of snacks for me. But um, it seems like everyone, it seems like a lot of people have the same idea. And I really cannot take, uh, three packs of these potato chips with me back home. They take up too much space. So I'm gonna be trying these, okay? And I decided to uh, choose them from your box because um, you have a lot of other stuff in there. Um, okay, so uh, we have the um, Singapore Laksa potato chips. Very, very interested in that. And we also have the uh, Hainanese chicken rice potato chips. Two iconic Singaporean dishes. Um, and you know what's so funny? It's not like funny, ha ha ha, but what's strange is that I've been here, how long have I been here? I'm not sure, I think I've been here for a week. But um, I've been filming two videos per day. And guess what? I haven't had laksa yet. I've had chicken rice once, but it wasn't like the best chicken rice, so uh, I need to go eat these two dishes, especially the laksa. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Isn't that strange? I've had all, all these other kind of food. No laksa yet. It's, it's so strange. It's so strange. Um. So, 
Let's start off with the Singapore laksa, okay? And by the way, for 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 those of you who um, live here in Singapore, where is the best laksa? I'd like to know. Well, a lot of people say uh, the um, the one in Katong, the three something something laksa. I have been there uh, on my last last Singapore trip, which was like uh, eight years ago. Um, Patrick actually took me there and that was pretty mind-blowing um, so I would love to go there again um, but um, if, if, if there's one that's uh, you know better or I don't know equally as good that would be great um, laksa if you guys don't know is a noodle dish and um, it is delicious uh, it, if you've never had it before it's actually kind of a uh, very unique well, as from 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 uh, from a Japanese person's uh, uh, standpoint because you know it's noodles so you know you think it's uh, Asian uh, I, I, of course it's Asian but um, it, it's made with a uh, coconut milk as well there's coconut milk and there's also chili so it's like sweet and it's spicy and um, the noodles are different it's thick noodles but they're not like uh, flour noodles it's just really really different uh, but it's pretty addictive and I like it. I really do. It's delicious. Thick rice vermicelli. Okay, thank you, Kimpei. Yes. And all these packages are very difficult to open. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, A1, does it taste peanut like the, the laksa? Um, I wouldn't say peanut like. No, 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 no. No. Mm. Oh wow! As soon as I opened the uh, package of uh, laksa potato chips, whoa! I can smell coconut milk. I can smell that laksa broth. I can even smell shrimp. Wow! Oh wow! Okay, I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah. So this is the uh, Singapore laksa potato chips. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, spicy. A little spicy. But in interesting because the, the, the aroma is stronger than the taste. Uh, yeah. Noemi, thank you. Hi, Noemi from Chicago. If you come to Chicago, I would love to show you around. Thank you, Noemi. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we go. The second bite is stronger. Maybe you have to let it build. Like one is not enough. Mm. I can taste the shrimp. No coconut. Mm. The chili for sure. Mm. Mm. Laksa. Yeah. Thank you so much, Fate. Really appreciate that. But I do have to say, um, the flavor is not as strong as I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I thought it would taste more like laksa. Like if I closed my eyes and I put one in my mouth. It would be hard for me to pinpoint what it is. Okay, let me shake it up like you guys say. Alright, shake it up. Oh. Here we go. Mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's still um, yeah, it, it's delicious, but it is uh, more subtle than I thought. Yeah, but it's good though. I like that they're they're making these um, local flavored potato chips because it's very unique and it's also very interesting. You know, I like it. Also, see some ginger now. Yeah, so that's interesting. You get all these different flavors. You know, that you wouldn't usually get in a potato chip. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Uncle Ed. You know, Singapore is one hour behind Japan. So I started this uh, uh, live stream at 12 noon exactly. We usually start at 1 p.m. in Japan. So 12, 24 p.m. in Singapore. Thank you. Hi, hi. Thank you. Chris Hansen, thank you. Maybe five spice. Yeah. Uh, A1, yeah. Uh, I. I really am not that knowledgeable about the ingredients in Singaporean cuisine. Um, I've been having Jean and Stacy and um, 
you know, <coughs> um, uh, dark paracord <coughs> help me with this. It's, it's quite difficult for me to pinpoint the spices. Yeah, I, I, I went to a Little India. I filmed a couple of videos for you guys in Little India. Uh, we had a, a couple of dishes uh, from the Hawker Center and I had such a difficult time um, describing the food and the spices, really. Like, I, I, the only thing I can say is that it's good. Oh my God, it's delicious. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, um, oh, it's sweet. It's a little savory. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm realizing that it is a lot. It, it, it's quite difficult to uh, describe food um, um, that you've never eaten before. You know, with uh, spices that you're not accustomed to. But that is the wonderful thing about travel. That's what I love about travel. I feel like uh, not only am I um, seeing the city, not, not only am I getting to enjoy these new uh, flavors, but I'm also learning a lot about the culture through the food. And I, I'm, I'm learning. So um, yeah, I'm having a great time. I really am. Although I am like exhausted beyond um, imagination, but I'm having a great time. I really am. And you know, travel can be exhausting. That comes with the territory, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Chatting too much. Hainanese chicken rice potato chip. Here we go. Oh, really A1. So, so A1 says, uh, the reason why I ask is because you're something in Hainanese chicken and a lot of Chinese cuisines that pulls up my stomach and gives me pain. Really? Oh, I have no idea what that would be. Um, thank you, JR. And, oh, thank you, Reles. Thank you. Try Yields Lemon Barley Drink in Kaya Toast. Okay, Yields Lemon Barley Drink. Is that something I can get at the convenience store? All right, okay, let's try this out. Hainanese chicken rice. Oh, okay. Gingery smell. Yeah. Gingery smell. Here we go. Oh, mmm, mmm, chicken, Hainanese chicken rice. That is definitely Hainanese chicken rice. Yeah, um, this is um, a lot stronger than the laksa, I think. Um, and it replicates the taste. Uh, it's, it's more clear, I think. Oh. It's so interesting because there's a taste of chicken, but it's not an ar artificial tasting chicken. It tastes like you're eating real chicken, but in potato chip form. It's like you can taste the chicken, like boiled chicken. Now, this is so interesting. It's so bizarre. I'm not used to eating chicken flavored potato chips that taste like the real thing. Wow, and you can taste the, the chilies and you can taste the, the ginger. Oh, that is so interesting. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. I don't know which one I like better though. Yeah. I really don't know. Hmm. You guys should try it yourself. And let me know what you think. Alright. Well, we got one more snack from Dark Paracord. Of course, we have more snacks from Dark Paracord, which I will be taking back home with me. But uh, he gave me two boxes of this in different flavors. So I'm going to try the original one. And this is called the Big Row Grilled Seaweed Row by Tao K Noi. And this is the classic flavor. And this is interesting for us Japanese people because we don't eat nori as snacks like this. But I noticed in Southeast Asia, they do eat nori for snacks. You want me to try the spicy one instead, Dark Pack Heart? Really? Is it a spicy one? I think it was spicy. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I will follow Dark Paracord's orders. Oh by the way, that's the uh, artwork um on my wall in my room. Cool artwork, right? It's a rooster. Okay, I'm gonna try another. You guys want to see the box he gave me? I'm using um Dark Paracord's box as a stand. <laughs> Um, by the way, th th this is the, uh, this is what I'm looking out at. Look at the beautiful shop houses. I'm on the second floor. 
And this is the box I'm using as a table right now. And this is the box that Dark Paracord um, prepared for me. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is a lot of things. So thank you, Dark Paracord. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, and then I have some other things here from other people. But um, I will be uh, sharing some of those with you in a moment. One moment. Uh, let me turn the camera back around. <laughs> it's so um, uh, challenging to do uh, these live streams in uh, hotel rooms because, um, yeah, like, like you think of lighting and um, the windows here. So this is the best place. Yeah, I I'm sitting at the edge of my bed right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be trying the uh, spicy grilled squid flavor instead. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. Spicy food. A lot of the Singaporean dishes here are spicy. Um, they're not like spicy, spicy like Thai food, but they, they can get spicy if you add chili to it. But a lot of the, the things here, um, it tastes better with chili. Um, so I've been eating a lot of chili. And I feel like yesterday my stomach was really in pain. I was kind of suffering. But this morning I'm I'm totally fine, so maybe I'm getting used to it. I don't know. Okay, so uh, this comes uh, in a package of six. There's like six individual packages in here, like that. So let's try this one out. Nanali, I did onigiri. I did onigiri already. I started out with the drink and then the onigiri. So for those of you just joining me, um, if you want to see me eat the onigiri and the, the drink, the water chestnut and sugar cane drink, um, please watch the replay of this uh, live stream. So here we go. Interesting. Oh, it's a roll of nori. Isn't that interesting? I've never seen anything like it. Well, I've seen nori before, but... Uh, not like this, not like a snack. Hmm. Susan C, thank you. You know what, I'm gonna look for Tums or something. Yeah, that, 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 that might be a good idea for me. Here we go. Looks crispy, huh? Mm. Mm. Wow, that is intense. Anna three one one three. Thank you. Have you thought of doing a fan mail video? That's a good idea. <laughs> maybe 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 we will do that. Thank you. This is a uh, oh okay. It's a little bit spicy. It's not that spicy though. Um, maybe it's building. Hmm. It has like a squid flavor. Um, was it squid flavor? Yes, it's a grilled squid flavor, and um. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit spicy, but it's not like super, super, super spicy or anything. Mmm, it's good though. Mmm, mmm, and it's sweet too. It's sweet, spicy, a little bit salty, like squiddy. I like it. Mmm, mmm, crispy, nori, delicious. And I also like that nori taste you know because i love nori mm. 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 look at that i ate it all up oh thank you dark parkour that was delicious mm. Mm. i don't like that mm. Mm. okay now <clears throat> i just have a, a couple of more things that i'd like to share with you guys see um First of all, I just want to say thank you to um, some other people that gave me uh, some things to take back with me. So this is from Ahmed and Yasmin. And they give me a whole bunch of um, chips as well, as you can see. And I'll just share it with you really, really quickly. This is like a preview of what we're going to be trying out there. But this is the uh, salted egg potato chips. Have you ever heard of such a thing? So salted egg potato chips and the salted egg fish skin. <laughs> wow, that just sounds so foreign to me. 
And then we got the mala potato chips, which sounds really spicy. But I love this, um, I love this red packaging. It's really cool. Like, it's kind of uh, high fashion. I think Lawrence would love it, you know, like, you know, wear this like on his head or something. And then, he, you know, you see they also sent us the, the same potato chips um, that Dr. Paracord gave us. But, they, but we also have one different one here. It's the egg prata with fish curry. So I, I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to be taking this home with me to share with Satoshi. Thank you, Jennifer from South Carolina. Thank you for joining us. Okay. That mala bag is awesome, really. Yeah? Okay. And you know, I do, I am thinking about doing another live stream or making a video here because I feel like I cannot take all the things back with me. It's just too much. I, I, I don't know how it's gonna, it's definitely not gonna fit in my suitcase. So I have to get another suitcase or something. And um, this is from, um, I believe, this is from um, Fuyuneko. <laughs> Fuyuneko. I think it's from Fuyuneko. It's uh, called a kitty. Uh, curious tea. It's really cute. And Fuyu Neko, I, I got to meet Fuyu Neko at the, the meetup. She's so cute. And I think there are four different teas in here. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so I'm, you know, I, I, I love tea, you guys know. And so thank you. This is a four pack. So cute. And then let me show you. Um, I, I am going to try a couple of things, but uh, let me just quickly show you what. Um, I got and Florence Florence also look more more of the same potato chips so um, that's why I wanted to share a couple of them today uh, apparently these potato chips are all the rage because uh, you know everyone uh, has uh, included th these packs of potato chips James Wolf thank you so much hello from James and Magen Hubbard st. Louis Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And then um, finally, this is from Stacy. Uh, this is from, um, uh, hmm, what's her name again? Now I know her as Stacy. I can't remember her name here. Um, wait, Stacy. <laughs> oh Not, uh, what? Wait, Dark Paracord. Kempe45. Kempe45. Thank you, Jean. Kempe45. So, I think this is from you, right? Kempe45. Is this from you? Maku, ohayou gozaimasu. I think this is from um, Stacy. Yeah? And really, really cute bag. Thank you so much. I'm going to use this bag. This is like perfect for me. Look at all that food there. This is... Oh, it's Singaporean food. <gasps> It's Singaporean food. Okay, Kempe left for lunch. Okay, so I think this is from Kempe. And, um, uh, yes, it is. Satoshi, Kempe got you a couple of beers packed nicely. Uh, these are local beers American IPA and Tropical Pale IPA. Ah, Trop, yeah, no, Tropical Pale Ale. And, um, got this cute little, uh, Plushie. I'm thinking this is like ice kachang or something. <laughs> and uh, got some um, maybe prawn crackers from Bengal and Solo. And also uh, pineapple tarts from Bengal and Solo. And some tea uh, from Clipper Tea Company. And on her notes, she says that uh, this is apparently Singapore's oldest tea producer, started in 1872. Isn't that interesting? It's so interesting. And the beer um, is um, actually, uh, um, uh, let's see. Um, they opened the, their brewery in Singapore in November of 1933. Yeah, so that's also, um, there's some history there as well. Uh, yeah, interesting, isn't it? Oh, Art of Chris. Oh, okay, so this is the artist of the bag. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this back in very quickly. And I, oh, sorry, I have one more, one more. 
Here, so this is from uh, Ryan Tan. Thank you so much, Ryan. And he here, he got us some of these cookies and these wafers. Like, yeah, they look good. I, I, I'm assuming that these are like, um, like traditional Singapore uh, snacks, as well as uh, these. Yeah, I think these are Sing Sing Singapore snacks as well. So uh, maybe I'll do a uh, another uh, live stream uh, trying these out while I'm here because I I feel like they are going to get all smashed up in the suitcase and then Yakun Kaya Jam. Jean knows I love these, right? I I've gone to this shop twice for the Kaya toast. I'm addicted to them. They're so good. Thank you so much. And then got me like four boxes of. Um, Hainanese chicken rice mix that I so I can enjoy at home and then he also got he also uh, put in stickers that he himself designed so he designs these stickers isn't that amazing so many so many talented people I'm just oh look 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 that's a uh, oh interesting that's winter and this is a uh, autumn and this is a uh, summer and this is a uh, spring. Very pretty, very nice, so talented. Ryan, you're so talented. Uh, June, you're so talented. You guys are amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, I, I have a feeling I'm gonna be trying these out over on my second channel. Um, if I don't, if I run out of time today, if, if I have time today, maybe I'll try those today, but I have a feeling maybe I'll just do it on my uh, other channel later on. Okay, sorry, my, my, my room is a mess, mess, mess. Oh, and Jean, I'm sorry, I have to give this to you. This is from Florence. So I'll, I'll pass this to you later on to Ms. Jean J. This is a gift from Florence to you. Yeah, yeah. She says, Dear Jean, nice to meet you. Thank you for helping Shinichi in Singapore. Hope you like the chocolates. Yeah, very nice of her. Very nice of her. Thank you so much, Florence. Okay, so um, I also wanted to open this up. And this is... Um, who is this from? Hmm. Uh-oh. I don't know which box I took this out from. I think it's a Dark Paracord, too. Is this from you, Dark Paracord? This is the... Uh, Herbal Jelly Honey Gui Lingao. And uh, I, I think this is from Dark Paracord's uh, stash. And I believe this is Grass Jelly. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's from Terry. Is it, is it the same thing as um, Grass Jelly? Because I've been having a lot of these in Hong Kong as well as Singapore. I love these. I love these. I like the herbal taste of it. Uh, oh, it's not Grass Jelly. It's Herbal Jelly. So it's different. Really? Okay, so I'm gonna open this up because you know I haven't, I haven't had lunch. This is my lunch for today, lunch and breakfast. James of Hubbard, thank you. If me and Megan come to Japan, we would like you guys to give us a tour. Oh well, um, well we would love to if we had some time, um, but we usually don't give uh, personal tours to people. But um, I guess we could think about it. Um, yeah, send me a personal message. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Mike Graham, thank you. I'm new to your channel. Well, welcome to our family, but I love the videos. Uh, keep them coming and hope you're having fun. Thank you, I really appreciate it. And I hope you're looking forward to the Singapore videos. Um, uh, we've made a lot of videos uh, already. I, I still have to take a lot of B-rolls and um, make some other things, but um, working hard for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's open this one up. Oh, this one comes with a personal spoon. It has a little spoon inside. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. Nice little spoon. Look at that. That, that. that was on the back of the can and just go like that and it's a spoon. <laughs> and it's a popped up, pop-up can. Oh. oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, how do I do this? 
here we go. Ooh, look. Look at that, it's, it's jiggly. Um, let's see. Let's take a scoop, shall we? You guys know what this tastes like? I've never tried this one before. I tried the grass jelly, but not this one. Oops. Whoa. Okay. So it looks like that. Yeah, it does look like a grass, uh, like a coffee jelly, doesn't it, in Japan? Yeah, people would mistake this for a coffee jelly. Hmm. 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 Mmm. You know what? It's not that uh, sweet, which is actually quite uh, surprising. I was expecting more like a sugar syrup. Uh, let's see. Mm. Nope, it's not bitter. It's not bitter at all. It's actually very uh, gentle. Yeah, it's very gentle. Hmm. Can I eat it like this? Hmm. Oh, I like it. It's like um, an herbal meal. <laughs> it's just slightly sweet, but it's not sugary. It's very light, almost like like health food, but it's delicious. Very herbal. But it's not so strong that it's like, whoa. I mean, obviously you guys know, I can't hide my reactions, right? Like, did you guys see me eat that durian cake <laughs> on my channel? That one I was trying really hard. That one wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. But um, like the durian mochi ice cream that we had in Hong Kong. Oh my God, I didn't film it. So, well, you guys don't know my reaction, but... Um, I was pretty rude to all the durian lovers because that one was so strong. And Jean was uh, um, very uh, um, happy to see me, she, to see that reaction because she was laughing for at least 20 minutes. I'm kidding. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. I love it. Um, the more I'm eating it, the more juices are coming out from this. Very, very interesting. Like this. You know? Like, see, you can't really see it, but it, it's becoming juicier now. There's like juices in here. Mm. But it's very good. It's very good. And it's so easy to eat because it's not that sweet. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Delicious. Yummy. Okay, so, um,. Let's see. I'm gonna try one more thing. Mm. Should I try one more thing? Thinking. Hmm. What do you mean it tastes herbal? Well, it, 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 I don't know what kind of herbs they use. It just tastes like, um... Oh, here. Ingredient list. Ingredient list. Water. Grass jelly. So there is grass jelly in here. Uh, Gui Ling Gao which I have no idea what that is. So that must be the herb. Rock sugar and honey. And it says, all natural, no artificial flavor or coloring. And th that's, there's only one, two, three. Only five ingredients. That's it, five ingredients. Yeah. So it tastes very, very natural. It tastes very natural. Yeah, I, I, like, I like that about um, desserts like this. Very delicious, yeah. Uh, by the way, um, I... Um, I, along with uh, Lawrence, once again, um, um, Satoshi will not be going, but uh, unfortunately, um, it's going to be me and Lawrence, we're going to be going to uh, Los Angeles on July 11th, and we will be having a meetup on the 13th. I, I believe that's, a, I believe that's a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. If that's a Saturday, yes, uh, that's the correct date. So we'll be having a meetup in Los Angeles on the 13th of July. Uh, Lawrence and I will be there. And um, yeah, so you guys get to meet Lawrence as well. Uh, I, I have no idea where or when yet, uh, where or what time yet. But uh, yeah, please come down and meet us. And um, I'm getting better at these meetup. I'm getting better at talking to everybody. 
um, uh, the last time we did a meetup in Los Angeles, uh, I had lots of regrets because I didn't really get to know each and every one of you. So um, hopefully um, I get to talk to you guys a little bit more. And um, yeah, please, please come down to uh, meet me and Lawrence. Yes. Just prepare yourself and dress fashionably for Lawrence, the fashion police. I'm kidding. He's nice. He likes everybody. <clears throat> uh, all right. I'm going to try uh, one more thing, okay? I'm going to try something that Ryan uh, sent us. And I think I'm going to try these wafers just because I feel like they are going to get damaged in my suitcase. So this is from Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. And it was a pleasure to meet you. So I'm assuming that these wafers, oh, chocolate wafers, really? So so this is like, uh, so all, all Singaporeans know what, what this is, huh? Like I wouldn't know what flavor this is. That's, that's like um, amazing, Gene. Oh, Florence says my favorite old school wafers. Interesting. Once again, I, these are not super easy to open and I don't want to destroy these. Oh, very fragrant. I can smell the chocolate already. Twilight says, I like to take out one slice at a time. Really? Really? How should I eat these guys? So this is a package of old school wafers from Singapore. Sorry. Bad manners, I know. I can't open it any other way. Aaron, yeah, they, 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 they do look delicious. Um, Aaron, you would love the food here in Singapore because uh, there are many uh, desserts using uh, uh, red beans, um, and like soybean, it's it's good. It's really delicious. Yeah. Would you like a wafer? They're wafer thin. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try this. So these are uh, old-fashioned Singaporean wafers. <laughs> That is good. Hmm. <laughs> they taste better than like store bought ones. They they do. Hmm. Oh. Oh, they taste a lot better than store bought ones. I gotta be honest with you. I was like wafers. I mean, I mean, I've had wafers before, but. These taste like like they're like pure. I I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so you guys want me to like separate the the layers, right? That that's what you're saying. Okay. Like really? Like one by one? How like how thin should I separate them? Is that enough, or do I need to separate this into two? Slide them. Really? Slide. Slide the wafers. Learning so many new things. Twist them. Which is it? <laughs> what? It, it, no, it's not working. It's not working for me. Oh. Not working. It's crumbly. Hmm. 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 Mm, that's good. Hey, it tastes the same, whether you eat it layer by layer or the whole thing. It's delicious. Mmm, mmm. Oh, I love that. That's delicious. Why? Why is it so good? It's Maybe it's the, the simplicity of it or something. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh, here's a small little thin wafer. 
Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. I see. It's a different way of enjoying it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, interesting. Mmm. I see. I see how it could be satisfying. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It is quite satisfying. You know, I could just like veg, veg out here all day in my room today and do, do this all day. That would be great. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> all right. Okay, one more sip of my drink. I feel like I'm doing a, a mukbang or something. Hi, Nasha brought a salad-free day. You know what? I, I'm dying for a detox day, to be honest with you. Um, Jean and I, we have been eating so much. Yesterday, it was funny. Let me tell you a story. Um, we went to um, a food court to film. Uh, the food court was called Food Republic. And it was a massive food court. So many people because uh, it was um, uh, a weekend. But um, I filmed it and uh, it was interesting because um, uh, we, we tried a whole bunch of food, I think five different dishes. And Jean, it was clear what Jean liked and it was clear what I liked. It was, that, it was interesting because I kept eating the chicken. She just ate the noodles. She ate two bowls of noodles. I forgot about the noodles. I kept thinking only about the chicken. And the deep fried sweet potato balls, which she didn't really like. So our favorites were definitely different and you know clear cut, like right down the middle. So so that was funny. And um yeah, and then and then after that we went to uh, Sentosa to try and film, but it became dark very quickly, so I didn't really um get to film much. But the other interesting thing was that they're having a Japanese Matsuri festival at Sentosa and that was a treat for me um, because they were having awa odori every August in Tokyo they have a big awa odori matsuri in Koenji and Satoshi and I we usually go every year but um, it's very tiring um, because um, there's so many so many people and um, it's very hard to see the dancers unless you you you, you uh, save a spot like five hours beforehand which is like really really difficult in the hot sun because it's august so i got to see the awa odori on stage like you know from pretty close by and, and it was nice it was really fun i i really enjoyed that a lot but um anyway jean and i we were like both exhausted after that i could tell jean was exhausted it's very easy to tell when jean is exhausted and she needs to just go to sleep because she becomes very quiet and she just um her eyes become like little dots like those anime characters yes so um i hope you got some rest jean and um anyway i do have to thank jean for helping me out with the filming it always does help when there's someone because it's quite a challenge to eat um, with a camera in your hand or to film with one camera in your hand and to take out the money with the other is, is very very challenging but I do have uh, uh, More days here and I will be filming by myself and I'm actually looking forward to that challenge because as you guys know I do like challenges and uh, yeah, um, I do have to film more for you guys. But anyway, uh um, I, I, it's hard for me to choose a favorite today because I kind of liked everything. Um, I did, uh, strangely like the wafers very much. That was very delicious. Um, so I, I think that is one of my favorites. And, um, I did like that nori snack. Um, and I also like the, uh, this, the, uh, honey guilingao, uh, dessert. Very, very delicious. Very, very <laughs> delicious. Yeah uh yeah uh let's see uh sorry a1 is singapore a very business oriented city or is it more tourism and food related city any impression after visits there you know i think it's, i i think it's all of it i think it's all of the above a1 um i don't think it's uh i mean i think tourism is uh uh, uh is is big here obviously there's gardens by the bay there are the casinos and you know, um, they're trying to, uh, they're tourists here for sure. 
Um, but um, there's also a pretty big uh, uh, central business district as well. And I see a lot of businessmen walking around. I see a lot of banks and um, a food related city. Yes, I mean, you know, people say you can get into hot debates over food. So uh, food is a religion here. Am I right or am I right, Singaporean friends? Um, yes, food is, uh, they're passionate about food. So I think it's all of the above. Yeah, I think it's all of the above. Doug Paracord says uh, Singapore is a tourism country. That's our main source of revenue. Oh, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, YMN202, is that Tiger Bomb theme park still existing? You know, I think it does. I think it's still there. I've never been though. Yeah, I've never been. <clears throat> and um, Chen Z's F says very safe. It's a very safe city. It really is. Yeah. So I don't really have to worry too much um, about getting something stolen. Of course, you have to be uh, still smart, you know, street smart. It is a metropolitan city. So you don't want to show off that you have lots of money. Um, I don't think it's smart to be wearing expensive jewelry um, and, um, you know, don't, don't have your wallet in your back pocket, you know, things like that. Um, <laughs> Jean says, I get into energetic discussions about Chili. Chili, she sure does. She sure does. Yes, she does. Um, <laughs> Bo we tease. If people just argue over food, the world will be more peaceful. I totally agree. I, I totally agree. That's why I love food. I mean, come on. Food is like, you know, the, the, the best thing to talk about. Um, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Shinichi. How are you getting through the humidity? Well, hmm, that's difficult to say. I can't say I'm getting used to it. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Uh, it's very draining. Um, it's nice when it's not raining, but when it's not raining, it's very, very hot and humid. Temperature-wise, it's not so bad, but it surely feels like it it's like 40 with the humidity it's very very hot and um it dehydrates me um i get really really dehydrated um i think because of my sweating you know in hawaii it's not this humid so um it's not the same but it does remind me of um the peak of summer season in tokyo so if you guys have been to tokyo during the summer you know what i mean it's very draining and yucky so it makes almost no sense to dress up in nice clothing you know or wearing jeans I, I i would never be able to wear jeans out in this weather never so every day i'm in shorts and even then i'm still hot yeah yeah but having said that you know i, th I think that the, the trick is to plan your day because there are a lot of air-conditioned malls <laughs> and so make sure you hop in and out of stores that helps out a lot make sure you um uh sit down and have a drink of uh water chestnut and sugar cane drink or uh something that helps and um yeah yeah um it should be okay but uh um you know as gene knows and a lot of you guys know who follow my second channel. I love to walk, you see? I love walking. So um, I've been walking a lot. I One day I actually walked from Chinatown to Bugis. And it took me almost an hour. And I had to stop by 7-Eleven twice, a convenience store twice to hydrate myself and to get some air conditioning because I felt like I was going to faint. That's how hot it was. But on the map, it didn't look that far. Uh, and it wasn't that far, to be honest with you. In Tokyo, I always walk that distance with no problem. Like, like five, six times more than that. But in Singapore, it's not that easy. Because of the humidity, I think. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, live stream. Um, as always, I really appreciate... You guys being here, I always enjoy talking to you guys, Satoshi and I both. And um, as always, thank you to our wonderful moderators. Love you guys so much. Um, finally, I, I, I keep saying this. I know I've said it like two, three times, but thank you to everybody who uh, joined me at the meetup here in Singapore. Um, thank you for being so kind and for uh, 
uh, making me less nervous. Thank you guys for the gifts that you guys brought. Really, thank you guys for just being here and be so open with me. I really appreciate it. Had such a good time getting to know you guys. And uh, next time I come to Singapore, hopefully I can drag Satoshi with me, even if it's just for a few days, because I know you guys want to see Satoshi as well. Uh, yeah, and for those of you in LA, uh, hope to see you guys in LA uh, next month. And Satoshi, I hope you're, guy you're having a good day, Satoshi. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the end of today's live stream. It's such a stretch. <clears throat> Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you guys real soon. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.